Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hey guys, so I have another haul for you today. Very exciting. I don't know if this will be as big as the previous recent hauls, but we do have quite a bit to share, and I do have more on the way that has not currently come in yet, so I imagine I'll be adding that on after this segment. So we do have some uh, character stickers, a lot of kits as usual, and we actually do have my next order of washi tape, which um, I don't purchase as much anymore. We're actually going to start with that. This is my order from Simply Gilded because she was having a sale. Um, I have not been purchasing that much lately because I do have an enormous collection that I don't really use, but I am using it a lot for packaging purposes. So um, my orders that I send out, I typically decorate the fronts with some washi tape from Simply Gilded. So I wanted to pick up um, some types that I always pick up whenever she comes out with new ones, which is mainly the Passport series or any landscape tape. Um, and then there were some others that I picked up that were more seasonal because um, I really like to kind of associate the tapes that I use with what season or holiday we are particularly in. Uh, so uh, there were some that I just didn't really have anything for. So when I saw them in the shop, I knew I had to pick them up just for that purpose. So <laughs> this is actually technically a business expense. But um, let's go over the freebies first. We have the little bow sticker, which I think kind of replaced the bow seal for her, although I still use these as bow seals. And then we have the little sampler freebie with the one full box and several icons, which I don't really tend to use those, so that will be de-stashed. Um, and then all of the like passport cards came in this pretty little envelope, which is new. I haven't seen that before, so I really like the effort that she went to to keep those safe because typically her um, journaling cards and such do get pretty bent in the mail because she puts them in the same cello as all of the tapes. Um, but yeah, these all stayed in really good shape. So we have this Happy Halloween journaling card, which has, it looks like, like black hollow or something for the bat, which is really cool. And I love the lace, but yeah, it's pretty hard to see the actual foiling on that. So I don't think I'll be able to like display that or anything. And then... Um, I'm just going to go over all of the like passport postcards at the beginning, and then we'll get into the actual tapes in a second. But I do love these. I do save all of these. I don't know for sure what I'm going to do with them. It would be cool to make like a wall hanging or like a gallery wall kind of situation um, somewhere in my office, I think would be really cool. And I was just looking around trying to see if there's a place for it. Um, I mean, there's lots of blank wall space because I don't really like to do a lot of stuff with the walls, but we will see. Anyway, so here is Iceland, and then Santorini, and Kenya, Switzerland, these are all so gorgeous, and then we have the Canadian Rockies, this is version 1, and then this is version 2, the only thing different is the color scheme, this is more brightly colored pinks and blues, this is more muted. I think they might have been sold in like a pack of two washi or something. I don't quite remember. Rome. Provence. This reminds me of that, uh, that art set that came out that I just hauled in my last haul, I think, had a kit with this type of art with the lavender fields. It was called, I think, Summer in Provence. And then um, this one is not labeled, but if I had to hazard a guess, Arizona 
would be my guess. All right. Yeah, that's weird that that one like does not have the location. Actually, I'm gonna look because I have a little cheat sheet right here that I always keep with me for these hauls because I can never ever remember the name of any washi tape. Um. Hmm. It looks like it's just Desert Rose, so it's not really any place in particular. So that would explain why there wasn't a, a label on there. So we'll start with all of the landscapes and passports, of which there are many. Um, and I will try to look up the names. This one looks like it was the Switzerland one, if I had to guess. Oh yeah, usually. I used to, once upon a time, I used to unwrap these before I showed them off to you guys. But I have been remiss in my duties, so they're all still wrapped, but you can kind of tell, and if you want to look on the website for a better view, you can of course do that, but this I believe is the Switzerland one, I mean it's just the same landscape as on the postcards I just showed you, this would be Rome, I love this particular view of Rome, it looks like Rome during the sun sunrise, very pretty, this one is Kenya, which I love that this um, is like present as a country that was chosen because it reminds me of Jamima from Just Lovey Dovey because I think she's from Kenya. So super cool. And then which one was this? Was this the Canadian Rockies? I think this is the Canadian Rockies. So let's see. Let's see if there's another one later on. Um, and then this one is. Hmm. I is this one Switzerland or am I just going crazy? I mean it's definitely cold. I don't know. Let's let's look at the passport or not the passports of postcards. So the first one was probably Iceland. Which like I was looking for Iceland on here and I didn't see it, so I don't know. Going crazy probably. Let me try to find Switzerland, just to compare. So this one is Iceland, so the first one was Switzerland. Yep. Yeah, these really do help. And then this one is the Desert Rose, which is a set of two. So there's two Desert Roses. So I think this one is not foiled, and this one is foiled with pink um, cacti. And then this is the Provence, and then Santorini. So there was just one Canadian Rockies. Interesting. Yeah, the Santorini one is really pretty. Okay, so that was all of the landscapes and passport tapes. And now the rest are kind of in a random order. So I picked up this one, which is just lanterns. I thought this would be a really pretty fall tape to use on packaging because it does earn me a lot of fall. And then I picked up the pumpkin paisley in like the most classic orange color. There were like, I think eight different ones um, available. And I think funnily enough, I think Jamima also picked up like all of them. And so I always think of her when I look at the pumpkin paisleys. But yeah, I think I just wanted the classic one as another fall option or like a Halloween option, although I do, I do have some other Halloween tapes elsewhere in there. Um, and then I have the tie-dye rainbow stardust, which I thought would be a really fun summer summer tape, like, you know, summer tie-dyeing, which we actually did do tie-dyeing the other day, so that makes sense. And then I picked up some like 4th of July tapes that I was going to use for that because for some reason I didn't have any at all. And honestly, like these could be used in 4th of July spreads as well. Um, yeah, it was so weird that I didn't, well, I think I had like maybe like red and white striped that I was using. I had like a blue with silver stars on it that I was using, but I didn't have any with like fireworks or anything. And I liked this one cause it, I think this one's like the popsicle one, patriotic popsicle. Yeah. So that one. And then this one is the red fireworks, a washi. Also, um, a lot of these did come with 10 millimeters, but I already took those out cause I don't use the 10 millimeter. So this is just the 15 millimeters. And then this one is the jungle washi, which I just thought was really cool. It has some silver foiled elements. 
it's kind of almost like a landscape there a little bit. I, I don't know. I just had to have that one. Um, and then I did pick up these two, which let me, so they are the purple slash sand she sells seashells washi set of two. And the reason I picked these up was because I already had this one that I've just been like going through like crazy. Like it doesn't look like I've used that much, but I feel like I've used a ton of it. I love this tape so much. So I already, already picked up this one probably like last year, I think. And so when I saw these, I just needed these as kind of like a refill. I, I didn't see the pink one. I only saw these this time. So had to pick those up. I don't know. I just love that one for the summer and just like any time because it's so pretty. And then I did pick up this happy birthday one, which um, I thought would be really good for sending out birthday happy mail to people. Like whenever I send my friends birthday packages, um, this will be really fun to decorate that and also to decorate cards. So there were a few other like birthday themed tapes, but I just wanted the black and gold that said happy birthday. A very simple classic option. And then... Um, I picked up this one, which is Lanterns and Suns. This is very clearly the Rapunzel-inspired tape from, you know, that scene in Tangled where they're seeing the lanterns over the water. That's super pretty. So I just, I needed it for that reason. I don't know when particularly I'll use it, but I have it. And then I had to pick up this Indigo Stardust rainbow. There was like a white with the rainbow stardust and then there was indigo which I thought looked kind of black with the rainbow stardust and I thought that would be a cooler option and would show up better on the packaging versus the white background which would blend in. So I just thought that would be a fun anytime option and then for Halloween I was kind of thinking the black and white striped pattern reminded me of the movie Beetlejuice so I had to pick up this particular stardust for that purpose because I don't really have that many Halloween tapes, I don't think. So, yep, very happy with my Simply Gilded order. I have been, like, I think there was one other, like, passport tape that came out recently that I wanted, so I'll have to wait a little bit before there's enough for me to place an order, but definitely very excited to start using those in packaging, so keep an eye out. If you get um, an order from me that has one of those, it'll be, like, a fun little Easter egg if you've seen this haul. You'll know my thought process behind that. So next, I think we can get into some character stickers real quick. Um, I have one new to me shop and one old to me shop, which I will start with, which is Carly Plans. Carly is so great. And I was like so tickled when she placed a couple orders for me, I think. I was like so honored because everybody knows Carly. And I haven't placed an order in a while, but she had a sale. I was like, you know, it's been a while. It's time for me to order. Um... And I was like going through my stash the other day and I was like, there's some icons I need more of. Like, I don't know, I need more tiny laptop icons than like other things that I like for some reason don't have. And so I really wish I had actually purchased some. <laughs> I don't think I did in here, but next time, yeah, I'm going to need more. So we have the little thank you card right here, which looks like she handwrites, which is super sweet and has a fun little Halloween backing. I'm sure she like does it different for every holiday. And then we have some freebies. Um goodness gracious oh she's she's super cool she does a whole bunch of like tiered freebies and then the august freebie and then pr freebie actually i mean i do kind of the same thing i also have tiered freebies and an all orders freebie and then the seasonal one um i don't change it out per month though because oh my god that would take so much work <laughs> um anyways i did put in elisa's pr code because elisa's my gal and so i had to get her freebie so, of course, we have a little dinosaur on there, coffee pods, couch, bed, camera, chips, sneakers, keyboard, um, cursor, and I think that's a yoga mat. The August one has, looks like that's like a makeup palette. And then that heart says true crime obsessed, which I should use to mark whenever I listen to my favorite murder, the podcast, because that's, I've like been getting back into it. I, I have been listening to a ton of business podcasts lately, primarily, but I just started getting back into um, my favorite murder again. So I'm still like trying to catch up, but yeah, so that would be good for that. And we have a spray bottle. I think that's like a little, I think those are like roses around little TV and then a bat like soda, teddy bear, and then some kind of dish right there. 15 and up is um, Halloween themed. We got some pillows, trick or treat bag. I have no clue at all what that is. So if you know, let me know. Looks like something coming out of an egg, but I have no idea. 
Anyway, that looks like an outfit, a little heart with a face with heart eyes, which is hilarious. Um, looks like making pumpkin shaped cookies, maybe a little voodoo doll and then a pumpkin candle. That thing is so confusing me. What is that? Oh, is that just like an egg? And that's like one half of the egg and that's the other half of the egg and that's the yolk. Is it just an egg? That's the weirdest drawn egg I've ever seen. Tell you that. <laughs> um, and then we have a $30 and up, which is in the exclusive September colorway. I have not been buying the colorways because that would just be way too much. I can usually find what I need in the assorted colorway, which is what I get, which is just like the rainbow. Um, but I have told myself that the icons that I use over and over again, like whenever she does a bring back the colorways day or event, I'm just going to go through and just get all of the ones of like the few icons that I use all the time like I think books would be one and laptops would be another just like or like I don't know coffee cups certain things I use all the time so yeah like this laptop um I don't like I said I should have ordered it in this order I don't know what sheet it's on but yeah that I will be getting in every single colorway but in the meantime this is the September one we have a little McDonald's bag an e-reader I think it does say Kindle on there which I do have a Kindle laptop YouTube heart um, audiobook, which everybody else is getting into audiobooks, and I'm like, I have one that I purchased a long time ago and read, and like, it's not even my favorite book, so I don't really have any particular reason to re-listen to it. I don't know, I like reading books, um, physical books, but I mean, my audiobooks are podcasts, like, I want to do audiobooks, but I just listen to way too many podcasts. I do not have time for both. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have time to read, but there's just not enough time in the day. Um, and then a TV hello bed everybody's got the bed on the, on the sheets we all can use the bed sticker um sticker sticker which is like my favorite thing and then i think that's a taco bell bag which would be great for my boyfriend because he is a taco bell fan the actual order i think was kind of small i think it was less than i thought but there's still a few sheets here so i did pick up cross stitch because now that i quote unquote have more time um since my hobby is my job now um i I feel like I should have more time to get back into my other hobbies, which include cross stitching. So this is an aspirational purchase for when I have time to do that. So I have quite the collection of cross stitching, cross stitching stickers now. I did get the bikini to mark swimming. Just I needed a simple one just to mark swimming because we do do it fairly often now. So it's not always going to be like a half box event like it probably would have been before we moved here. Um, and I did purchase like an actual bikini. I had a swimsuit before that was not a bikini because I was a little bit self-conscious, but I did purchase a bikini the other day. So, and it's really cute. So now I can legally use these. Um, this is the assorted colorway. So you have like the bright rainbow and then the regular or like the pastel rainbow. And then these are like the neutrals, I think she calls it or something like that. So you, you get like a whole bunch on there. Um, I did pick up the calculators um, for like budgeting stuff. I could use these for the back planning I have to do when I had my previous day job, which was bookkeeping. And I did use a lot of calculators to mark that. So I think I'll just keep this with that section for now, just to have more variety. Um, but then this will be used just for like budgeting and other financial tasks. And then we have bathtubs, which I only picked up to mark when Aurora, our little one takes a bath because it's not every day. And I don't know. I just think it's a fun thing to mark. Just another thing I can mark, you know, if it, and it's not daily. Otherwise, I would not be able to have room all the time to mark it. Um, and then we have arcade game, which she does love the arca arcade as well. So I feel like we are probably going to go fairly frequently. So I wanted that. She got the microphones for voiceovers because, I don't know, I feel like I can never have enough voiceover stickers of varying sizes. Um, I picked up in and out because um, Aurora also likes in and out and so does my boyfriend so they they go a lot and I'll just you know get something while we're there so I figured it might make sense to have in and out bags I'm not a huge fan of in and out honestly but I'll survive um McDonald's however I do love McDonald's breakfasts and fries and their apple pie and that's about it <laughs> I mean their their coffee drinks are good too like their their frappuccinos or whatever they're good too but yeah, we, I feel like we're eating more McDonald's now than is good for my waistline. But again, it's just another one of the few things that our little girl will eat. So just had to get that. And then we have the graded papers, which again, will be used to mark her school activities. I don't like, she hasn't gotten any graded papers back yet, so I'm not too sure. 
like how often I'll be using these or what I'm going to use them for. But maybe like if she um, does a test and gets a grade on a test, I'll mark that because they are labeled like with A's and B's and D's. There's no C's, which is interesting. But um, yeah, like maybe I'll mark that unless she gets a C. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Just thought it would be fun. Um, and then this one is Pretty Little Liars themed, which I have read all the Pretty Little Liars books. I love them so much. I have not watched a single episode of any Pretty Little Liars show. I think they just came out with like, I don't know if it's a reboot show or a sequel show or what. I think there's like a new Pretty Little Liars universe type show that is new. Um, but I do need to watch the original show, um, as well. So I got a lot of Pretty Little Liars TV ahead of me. Um, I might also reread the books at some point. They're fantastic. I usually do not read that type of genre at all. I'm like middle grade fantasy, talking animals, going on quests. That's what I read. Not Pretty Little Liars stuff, but that book series just like hooked me in. Like the level of drama and like how much I was invested in it. Like I don't even know. I can't even tell you. So addicting. So safe to say I'm obsessed and definitely happy for some Pretty Little Liars stickers. Um, and the last sheet I picked up was Playgrounds for Obvious Purposes. I don't think we've even found a park here since we moved, so I don't know how often we're going to be going if, you know, if we don't even know where one is, but I sense Playgrounds in my future. We need to find places we can walk to as well, because I am not a fan of driving, um, so hopefully we can find a playground within walking distance, maybe have some picnics like we used to. We need to explore this new city that we're living in. Anyway, that is my order from Carly Plans. Not the first, definitely not the last. Next, we'll move into Sticky Perks, which is a new to me shop. Um, she has been on my list for quite some time now. Um, and I think I like followed her on Instagram fairly recently though, or like maybe just only started paying attention fairly recently. So I am. Um, Oh, sorry, I had to be the savior with helping out with homework because I know the English language and grammar better than my boyfriend, so I had to be the the guardian helper today. So I don't know where I paused it. I guess I don't really need to take this card out. But um, anyway, yeah, I think I was talking about like the reason I placed the order was because like I had finally just started paying attention to the shop and I think she was like having a sale. And I was like, well time to finally at least check out how much I want and if it's a reasonable amount of stuff that I want then I can place an order so that is what happened so yeah this is sticky perks um I think jazz maybe short for jasmine is the um shop owner's name and these are all hand-drawn doodles which I love I love how many different shops have hand-drawn doodles in their own style and yes I will get all of them gotta collect them all like pokemon um that's why I have a list of <laughs> a million shops to check out so here is the all orders for Rebee. Um, so it looks like we have some keys on here, coffee pods, um, nail polish, Lucky Charms, YouTube on the TV. That looks like crumble cookies, <laughs> Tupperware, which is fun. Um, could use that to mark cleaning Anastasia's room because her room is like a giant bin, basically like that. And then eggs with salt on them, pepper. Interesting. And then a Starbucks script. I wonder if she does her own scripts too. I don't know. And then, so the sheets I picked up were Game Night, um, mainly because all of these are, like, games that we play. Like, as a family, we play regular card games, um, board games, which I'm still trying to get them to play more board games. I think they're more, like, card games people. Um, and, you know, those also involve dice, too. And then there's dominoes in here, which I do want to get dominoes again. I grew up playing dominoes. I want to introduce the little one to dominoes. Um, we do play a lot of Uno, and then they do, like, chess. I'm not as big a chess fan, but I will play when coerced. <laughs> um, and then we have Amazon stickers, which I just always need a ton of because I order a lot from Amazon Prime, so I'll use that for probably placing an order, and then I use, like, an Amazon delivery box for when I receive it because I do have a few of those type of stickers. And I did purchase this phones sheets because like I've said in pretty much every previous haul I can never get enough phone stickers to mark calling or texting so um this is just like a blank screen so that could be used for anything this is for texting obviously I like how detailed these are and then that is used for calling it's a very versatile sheet and I love the size of these stickers and then next we have Starbucks which she had like 15 different drinks to choose from it was insane so um 
I chose the one that was like a frap, like I think a caramel frap, basically. And so you get one with whipped cream without, well, they all have whipped cream, but this one has no lid. This one has a lid. This one has like cinnamon on top or something. Um, and then this one has the lid with scent and cinnamon. So like every possible combination, which I don't know, I just think the creativity in that is just like, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And she had so many others in there. I pretty much get the same frab every time I go. So I only wanted this one, but be sure to check out that listing because there's so much on it. And as you know, from my shop, I love having a million options for things. Like I'm obsessed. And I think this was on a separate listing. Let me just look at the numbers real quick. Yeah, I think this was on its own listing for just the iced coffee. Um, however, you could choose between like light iced coffee because it says light coffee. And then I think there was like a darker version, which like I, I didn't even know there was a difference. But that's so cool that she offers that. I, of course, got the light because this is just what I'm used to. This is like really nice premium out here too. It's It feels almost like, what is it, vinyl or that other kind of like um, like matte paper that a lot of people use, like Carly Plants, I think is on that. I don't remember, but this is like really nice paper. It's better than my premium matte. Um, cause I feel like this does not get like dusty when it's cut. And I think that's why they use it. Honestly, I should look into that if I'm going to eventually branch into doodles. But for my purposes, I'm, I am really good at, um, using my premium matte. Um, and then I also got Walmart bags cause I don't know, it's so funny when we moved, in together we like suddenly became like walmart people i don't know <laughs> we go to walmart for like a lot of just random like household stuff like sometimes i'll find stuff cheaper at walmart than amazon which is insane but yeah so picked up that for our walmart outing days and then puzzles which is another kind of aspirational thing because um, I'm still trying to convince this new family that I have to be a puzzle family, which we have a puzzle that I bought my boyfriend during our like first Christmas together, which was like two years ago now. And we did it a little bit that week and then basically never again. It's still rolled up. We've been discarding it around wherever we go, <laughs> like all of our moves. And yeah, I think we need just like a puzzle table or like a puzzle mat that you can like slide under the bed, except neither of our beds in our house like have under space storage or like not or like I have drawers under my bed so I can't like slide a puzzle thing underneath there I need to come up with some kind of solution to where we can just like have it out and just easily you know pull it out and do more of it whenever we need to <sighs> we need to come up with something like that anyways I just wanted the puzzle sheet just because anyways super fun it's quite a random assortment of colors, too. That's, like, just three random colors. Interesting. Um, and then there are these scales. I think you could get these in color or grayscale, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I did, of course, get this in grayscale. I do use scales to mark um, whenever I weigh my snake, primarily. I like to mark her weight down, so I like getting scale stickers that are A, small, and B, still have space to write in the actual weight, so I'll probably just write the weight in there. I did just make myself some scripts that say Anna Ways, and I showed those in my last new release video, um, which was for the Thanksgiving collection. I don't know when this haul is going up, but yeah, so I can use those with those. And then we have mailers, which I really liked these because... Um, they actually look like the mailers that I use for sending out orders. So I think I'll use these for packing orders or, um, or like sending off mail or getting mail or getting orders picked up by USPS. Cause I do use USPS pickup. Um, so yeah, these look exactly like the mailers that I send out. And then lastly, of course we have the Amazon boxes, which like I said, I use to mark deliveries. So, Yep. So love this. There's not like a ton ton in her shop, but I will definitely be paying attention for whenever she does new releases and I might build up another cart and place another order. But yeah, I love the uniqueness of these stickers and the size is really good. And yeah, she had a little bit that I needed. So very cool. That's sticky perks. And then I'm so sad that the character stickers are done or like the doodles rather, because those are low key my favorite anyways. Not to discredit anything that's coming next, because as you can tell, I love kits. Like, kits are pretty much all I buy. But, yeah. So, next, um, we'll go into the Squirrel Prince Co. September Mystery for this year, which, spoiler alert, but I think you guys have already seen it by now. I'm very excited about this one. I think I posted on Instagram that, like, the next time I see somebody do this theme, like, I need to do foil for it. And I'm really sad that I, like, don't have room in my calendar to. But 
um, both Clan Planner and SBC have done these for mysteries now and done a Wild West theme. So I feel like I've kind of missed the boat. So if anybody else wants to like do a custom Wild West, please, please do. I will definitely provide foil this time. Um, but yeah, so sad RIP. I'm just going to hoard these. I don't know. I might do like a foil bundle exclusive just so I can use that for both of these. Um, anyways, so yeah, this is like a Wild West theme, which I love because A, it reminds me of Texas where I grew up, and B, the one Wild West movie that I've seen, which is the newer True Grit movie I really liked, so I think if I rewatch that, I'll probably use this kit for that, and I don't know what else, but I mean, I could watch other <laughs> Wild West movies, but I feel like, I feel like it might take a lot of waiting through some that I don't really like before I find one that I do really like, so I don't, I don't know if you have any recommendations, I mean, I guess leave them down below, um, like, exciting things, like, the more exciting, the better, anyways, um, love this kit, I think this is a kittenish Jess masterpiece, as usual, we got our little, um, town double box scene here, we have our clothing flat lay, we have our two characters, which both look super cool and definitely like they belong in a movie. Another clothing flat lay, that would be like the woman's dress. I mean, Wild West clothing for the women was really something else. Like, I don't even know what kind of style I would call that. Um, and then, oh, is that a train in the background? That is my favorite thing. I hope I hope there's like a bigger train later in the, in the kit. Um, and we have our cowboy hat and then I'm assuming that's a whiskey. It's like how you know if there's alcohol associated with pirates is always rum. I think... The cowboy one is whiskey or like gin. I don't even know. I think it's whiskey. Anyways, horsey. That's like a super realistic horse. Like good job, Jess. That's impressive. And then we have our deco, which has a nice mixture of big and small. And then we have our double box scene here of the desert, which Oh, I'm going to have to do, like, a really big double box scene overlay for that, because that needs a lot of covering up there. Um, and honestly, that could also be, like, double layered with a coat box as well. That would look good, huh? I think so. Um, and then we have all the rounded boxes and the square boxes, which I really don't even like rounded boxes anymore. I'm, like, I've evolved past that. Square boxes, though, I'm trying to use more of, because you can see more of the underlays the whole page of little things, which I have not used yet in kits, but I'm excited too because I do need this. I would probably use this entire sheet, honestly. I'm a little apprehensive about these though because I feel like they're going to be really hard to write on and actually see what's there. Like these two colors are going to be tricky. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll see. But there are plenty of other labels here. So we have the um, solid color page, fancy labels, third boxes, half boxes, I think these are like quarter boxes. They're a little bit bigger than what I'm used to for quarter boxes, but by like a few millimeters. And then we have the patterned page as well of the same sheets. And then we have cake for some reason. Oh, I think Andrea mentioned that she thought you could use this to mark somebody's birthday for somebody who likes the Wild West, which I think a lot of people are doing. I'm just going to use the cake box because I use every single full box in every kit <laughs> and it's cute. So I'm going to use it. Although I don't, I don't think I'll be using it for anybody's birthday. And then we have our split 15 millimeter bottom washi. Oh my God. Why does this say rum? I literally just had a whole tangent about how rum is like the pirate drink. Why is that there? Is that just a freaking like prove me wrong or what? Feels, feels like an insult. <laughs> I don't even know. Am I crazy with, with that association? I just say things in halls. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying. You, you guys are used to it. And then we have this page, which includes all of the doodles, which is new. That's kind of fun. I bet I could use some of those. Because um, these are, like, all the same style of that, like, I don't know, pretty pink pencil, whatever whatever the heck that Instagram handle is, of that artist who does these the style doodles that, um that everybody uses like a ton of shops use these exact style doodles so yeah definitely we'll be using some of those we get our fifth color sampler and then some heart checklists oh look, there we go there is the train double box my life is complete i want a million copies of that i want to frame that on my wall <laughs> oh my gosh and i love that girl she looks like she's on a mission got a pretty fan and then cowboy boots. So yeah, color me in love with this. And then we get, I think, a sixth color, which is 
beautiful and gorgeous. And um, those are not going to be writable at all. Neither are those. But the boxes, I think I could manage. The weird thing about SPC is that when she, like, whites out the center of her boxes, it's not white. It's just, like, the lightest shade possible of the outer color. Which, like, I don't know, that bugs me. It definitely bugs me. But... I don't know, I've been using it for a long time without even noticing it, so clearly it can't be that big of an issue. I don't know, I'm like, I'm, I've gotten so picky about stickers <laughs> as time goes on. I've gotten so picky, which is great, because it means that I buy less. <laughs> Anyways, love this. Um, what is even the foil? I usually ignore it, because I use my own. I think this is copper, which definitely looks like the vibe. Usually I'm not too sure about her foil pairings, but I think copper is the vibe, so whenever I do my fall model exclusive, which I'm almost certainly going to do, um, I'll probably do it in copper. So yeah, this is just like her like shimmer bundle or whatever, her format. So that is the mystery. Love, 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 love it. And next I think we'll, okay, so I have a bunch of print printable kits I will finish off with because I have a ton. So I think we're going to start, not start, we're going to continue with Glam Planner. My order finally came in. I was waiting for her to do um, like ketchup kits and Halloween kits. I'm still waiting for her to do like that enchanted art or whatever from Silly Studio because she does all Silly Studio art sets and I don't know why she didn't do that one. Maybe she's got it in the pipeline because she went like she's been like kind of slowly coming back from her maternity leave and she's been releasing kits very sporadically as she's been coming back. Um, and so when she came back a while ago, she did release a whole bunch of like, all, like way old by that point, silly studio art. And so I think that she's just got them all hoarded up and she's just going to go back and do every single one. Um, that's my hope. So I'm still waiting to pick up that from her. I think I keep like buying it from Crest Press just in case Elle doesn't do it. And then Elle always does it. So I'm like, this time I actually am going to wait. Um, anyways, so yeah, but mostly I just needed the Halloween kits. Um, yeah, I really had to be careful. I did pick up a whole bunch of mysteries when they came back to shop recently. Um, so I kind of had to take it easy on this order, but like, I did not want to risk anything going out of stock because there's already one kit in here that I missed out on last year because it went out of stock. And so I had to wait an entire year for, um, for her to bring it back so I could repurchase it. So I did not want to let that happen again because how hilarious and sad would that be? So... There's some things I just needed, but other than that, um, just a kind of a tiny order. So this is just the freebie bag. We're just going to go through it. I might de-stash like all of us. I don't know. I like double box scenes or not. I don't call them double box scenes. I call them, um, big boxes. I love big boxes. I don't think I have the kit that this goes to, but I also don't know if I want to just pull this into a random kit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I might use it as decoration on the card or something. I don't know. I might keep it just because I like <laughs> big boxes. Um, looks like we have a label sampler, which I will definitely keep because I do love her labels because they are properly white in the middle. <laughs> yeah, definitely can use that. I'll put that in my leftover stash. Um, looks like we have our teenies, which are her like character stickers. Um, this one looks like a... Oh, no. It, it is a New Year's Eve one, but it does say 2021 on the disco ball, which, like, now I understand why it is in the freebie bag. So, these will probably go into the trash because I don't think anybody else is going to use them either. And then we have, um, well, you can read up there what it is. The fall color is a midnight lavender. Ooh, I didn't even know that was an option. That's really pretty. I definitely do not have... A fall color like this. It reminds me of the sapphire that I used to have before I got rid of it. Anyways, um, I, if I remember correctly, I do not have this mystery. So, don't have this, don't need it, but the fall color is cool. Um, this page, I'm just going to steal all of the, um, I'm going to scavenge all the labels from. And same with this one, I'll grab those and I'll grab the lighter color and the red. I'll grab these three little things, the plain ones, which are my favorite because that's not writable. Um, this one, I'm going to grab Happy Mail and Dinners because those are the only headers I ever use, even though mostly it's dinners. And um, kids have stopped coming out with this, um, these headers, so I have to basically just store up all of my dinners headers for all the newer kits. I am eventually going to have to make my own, and then I'll steal those too. 
Um, I will de-stash this because I don't like to keep rounded boxes, even as leftovers. This one looks familiar. I don't know. Maybe some kind of sweets bakery kit, possibly. But yeah, these colors are going to be great to just grab for leftovers because they're going to go with so much. And this will be the stash because I don't use the check boxes. So there was actually some good stuff in that one. Yeah, she's been, she's been doing a lot of freebie bags in your orders. So love that. All right, so next um, we're going to start off with this Oak Avenue kit before we get into the Halloween kits. Um, it's just weird to say Oak Ave, so I, I have to do the whole Avenue. I don't even know. Would you guys, like, say Avenue or just Ave? Like, Ave is not even a word. Like, if I see the abbreviation, I always say Avenue. It's just weird. So, anyways, this is just another silly studio art style that I needed, and I always get it from Glam Planner if I can. If she does it, which she always does, again, and frequently I'll just get it from Crest Press if she does it first, just so I'm 100% positive I have it, but then I always pick it up from Glam Planner whenever she does it anyway. Um, I don't always get Silly Studio art, and I think I was waffling on this, but I did decide I needed it. Um, I don't even know why. I think the color scheme got me. It's not even, like, the subject matter. I do like the flowers. I do love the flowers. When I do my floral foil collection, I think that might be the vibe for this one. Um, I think a few of you, not a few, at least one of my customers is, is planning on, um, I think using the fall collection with this. I'm not sure. Um, she did ask me for foil pairings. I think I suggested you could do Merlot, but it's not the exact sh exact same shade as these colors. I think I said pink would do a little bit better because like this looks more like pink than like a really dark red. So I think I said that would be good, or maybe like a matte bronze would be on the safe side. Let me go grab my um. In a minute, when I'm done going through the whole kit, I'll grab my false watches and we'll do a like a real life comparison here. But yeah, I mean, of course, art is amazing because it is silly studio art. She always knocks it out of the park. Um, super realistic puppy right there. That looks like a Springer Spaniel, which my mom had one. She really loved her Springer Spaniel. Um, I was not too big a fan because she didn't like me. She only liked my mom, but she reminds me of her so that's kind of cool um then we have just a bunch of other wildflower aspect going on we got some paintings and photos cake sketchbook really pretty shoes i just love this color scheme like the reds and pinks with the green and the white oh it's so pretty we got our check boxes two extra boxes which is the clothing flat lay again super realistic patterning and then books I love the square boxes actually. And then I love how she still has the flags because I do use the flags. And then we have some labels, rounded labels. And then she still has the icons, which I'm waiting for her to get rid of these, which I think she will, as, uh, along with these check boxes. But yeah, and then we have our habit trackers, cyber trackers, movie marquee, weekend banner, deco, which I love the small size of the deco. Then we have more boxes and labels. So we have some little things in here, some patterns washi some more completely blank little things which are great and she does still have the headers which i do love and then um what are they called glitter headers and then as usual the work labels date covers and the triplicated bottom washi which i think i like tried to make them fit the other day in my planner and they like actually didn't fit and i had to trim one of them but i think i just didn't squish them closely enough together so I'm still not 100% sure whether they do or don't fit in, like, the style of planner that I use, which is an okay plans planner, so I will get back to you on that when I actually, like, squish them up against each other next time. Um, so the double box, or the big box, as I call it personally, is this, which is, like, the interior of the kitchen scene, which is really cool. Her um, lighting and shadows situation is always fantastic in her art, so this looks super duper cool, super realistic. So I love that with the flowers on the table. And then I did pick up the Fashion Girls version 4, which I don't always get the one that looks like me. Sometimes I'll get the one that like blends with the kit better, which was in this case true with the girl with the black hair. I thought it worked a little better. Love her green dress there. There's another girl with really puffy sleeves. And there's the hand with the flowers. And that girl's face kind of got me too. I think she has that like, who is it? The Chloe Grace Moretz face. 
where her like her eyes just look like that and the proportions look like that like i'm sure that was probably some influence if if only unconscious for that particular fashion girl let me go grab my swatches real quick So I already told her what colors I would choose, but now I don't remember what they are and I'm not going to look them up in the middle of a video. So we're going to figure it out from scratch. Not any of those, not any of those. I think she asked me about olive green, which is that one. And I don't think, I think, I think it's harder to tell on camera, but olive green is a little bit too light. It's, it's a pretty light olive green for the colors in this kit. When I was picking foils, there was a dark option, but I thought the light would go with more stuff. I didn't want to do both. Um, there's golds, which I don't really think they would go. Here's our pinks. I did say the regular pink would work. Um, it does look a little bit bright. Yeah. It's the tiniest bit too bright, I believe. I mean, you could go with any pink, and I'm sure it, like, would be fine, but I don't know if that would be, like, the best, best option. It's probably not going to be hot pink or pink hollow, though. Anyways, um, light brown is a little too light. You can always go matte bronze, though. Not that there is a lot of matte bronze in here, but it's, like, a matte color, very subtle. Um, and then... Could do matte silver too, just for another more subtle option. And then that's rose gold and copper, which you could also do rose gold. Honestly, I might even recommend rose gold. Um, and then here we have, I think that's regular bronze, which again, you could do, although it's a little bit light. And then here's Merlot. So actually Merlot might look good. Yeah. It matches that thing. I don't know how much else it matches. It, ma it might match those flowers. Um, it probably matches those. That particular flower. Yeah, I think Merlot could be a safe bet. And not pumpkin. So, yep. I would say rose gold or Merlot would be the best. Anyways, so that is oak avenue and then we have the two halloween kits so these are both like almost identical it's really funny i think she pointed it out in her new release video too um because they're both by the same artist Celie's studio and they both have the exact same color scheme and they're both for halloween so yeah but they're different enough to where i needed both because obviously i did um, so Dead and Breakfast was actually one that I did miss out on last year. I was so upset because I bought the extra. I, this is when I was like doing a weird thing before where I would buy the extras because I knew the extras sold out first and then I would, um, like wait till I was ready to make the actual kit purchase because that's more expensive. Um, but I waited a little too long on Glam Planner and the kit was not there when I went to check out and I was like so mad and I ended up buying this art from another shop that I like didn't like the format of as much. And I was like, no, you know what? I do want to wait and see if she brings it back next year. And so she did bring it back this year. And I think this is the new format. We'll, I'll have to have a look. But either way, I did need it. And I think it comes with, like, all the extras that I purchased before. Um, so, like, I'm kind of sitting on those extras for nothing. Except for, I think, the Fashion Girls, which I did not pick up this time because I already had them. So that was, I think, the one thing that I did not waste money on already. But I think I'll use the other art set as like a mock spread for a Halloween kit, um, Halloween fall collection. And then this one will be the actual one, but yeah, Dead and Breakfast, I needed it. It's like a, like a haunted spooky hotel situation. Got our double box scene with, I think that's like moths coming out of the fireplace, which is very spooky. And there's like crows Then there's more moths over here on the stack of books with the skull. So really cute shoes and like jewelry going on over there and a mysterious key. Hmm stack of luggage, another crow, TNT cup with the scary moth in it, and of course, a little poison as a little add-in there, a little flavoring syrup, a um, little check-in book, another moth, and then my favorite part, the black cat. Oh, I love it. I do love me a cat of any color. And then we have our check boxes. And then we have our two additional boxes, which are the phone and like the room keys hanging up. And then this one with the 
bust and the crystal ball and then we have more functional stuff on that page i love the pattern for the page flags i just love this pumpkin pattern yeah so this is the newest format which is fantastic i hope that's one of the bottom washies i'm sure it will be glitter headers and then yeah it is it is the 10 millimeter so there's our bottom washi and then the double or the big box is the bedroom scene love all those pumpkins sitting in front of it and then the extra boxes which should come with it we have an extra i think third box um the glam planner sized tall box which is like one and a half times a full box height it's a little skeleton doorman um or bellboy i don't know what it's called and then just another interior of the room and then just the sign which is the ha the hallows dead and breakfast <laughs> vacancy but then the little writing says go away probably a ghost wrote that so that is dead and breakfast which i just love as like a classic halloween set and same with this one which is house of haunt but it's like house like i think german which is like a very kind of modern thing i think anyways same thing for this just being like a modern halloween set um with the same color scheme um, but this is just like any generic house interior so we have our double box scene of the couch and um over here we have like a little cool haunted house lantern situation and then here we have pumpkins and a little dish with rings in it which just like that ring that i always wear um pumpkins and a skull oh that's like a very spooky candelabra situation because of like the bottom part is a snake i would want that in real life if you know that that's a real life item like please let me know where to get it because i want it um more pumpkins back there <laughs> a little doggy wearing the the bed sheet and like a ghost some spooky drinks i love the bats on that glass oh my god look at that i didn't even see that the stem of the wine glass is a skeleton holding up the wine glass that is the coolest thing like i want these products <laughs> I want to live in this Halloween house. I don't even like Halloween that much, but decorating for Halloween is fun. Um, and then I know for sure that that pillow of the ghost is like an actual product. So I think that's sold out everywhere. Um, but yeah, and we have our necklace on the pumpkins. And then the pattern page deco. That's the tiniest deco ever. I love it. Get the little things. Glitter headers bottom washi that's gonna look great with foil over it because that's very dark bottom washi and then our big box is sideways are they all sideways i don't even know um but it's of the fireplace with all the candles in it which is kind of hilarious because like that's not the that's not what provides the fire in the fireplace it's supposed to be on logs i guess candles technically also have fire but it's like that's not it's not what's supposed to be which is i guess why it's funny um and then there's the broom and then I did pick up version 6 of the Fashion Girls. Um, I did go with the one that looks the most like me, even though her skin is a little bit too dark. They didn't really have a lighter option with the black hair. But yeah, that is kind of my, my curl pattern right there. So she looks cool. Um, and then there's another girl with straight hair. And then we get the nails with the spider webbing. And then the doormat that says Boo. So that is House of Haunt. Love these so much. Okay. Water break. And then we have all of my printable kits, which I have two from Pink Planner Shop, so we'll go over those first. Um, I did pick up three, but one of them I'm using for a mock spread only, so I'm not going to haul that. So I did print these out on a premium matte paper, which my printer quality is pretty decent, but if there's any mistakes, just know that that is me, because these are printable kits. Um, I did pick up the Atlantis Art as a printable because I like I just couldn't convince myself to buy it physical for whatever reason um like I wasn't 100% sold on it but I did want it in some variety so um I don't even remember who the artist is is it the artsy Aletta handle I'm not sure anyway I did I did like the bright colors that certainly got me and the the mermaid Sasha Lantis theme definitely got me as well so we have our little very pink themed mermaid there, the orange one there. Um, then we have, that's a very cool looking jellyfish. And then, you know, the statue from Atlantis, very treasure, compass, anchor, a comb and a pearl, sand dollar and all that. A seahorse and a goblet. 
and then I love her format because she also does the same thing that all the other shops are doing now we, where we have the entire page of just like boxes and labels and both the solid and the pattern options and then um, for bottom washi I did um, just leave it as the larger one I think she does offer in her kits al alternate um, 15 millimeter strips if you do want to trim it but I didn't want to trim this because I didn't want to cut these fish in half that would be weird so I am just going to leave this intact um, and then date covers and then our extra full bugs is the little sushi which is just so horrible considering that that is these fish <laughs> anyways um, these are kind of out of order and also I did like I really cut up these uh, kits online around my computer just to take out what I didn't want and put in more of what I needed more of so like there weren't a ton of little things to begin with so I did kind of make more for myself um so these are the rest of these sheets are all cut up um but we have our two extra full boxes that one's gonna be great for a quote um that's just like a, an antian temple and then we have another little mermaid there I kept the sidebar tracker added some more little things um, and then I kept one of these washi strips because I like to use these to put the meals or dinners header over. I like to have just one washi strip for that purpose only. So I did, um, she only had like tiny ones that were like that size. So I actually adjusted the cut lines on this to make it that size. So I'm just going to stick one of those on that. And I printed out another one just because again, I'm trying to collect them. <laughs> and then there was four habit trackers, but I usually don't use more than two. So I put two there. Um, I did keep the square boxes because, again, I love those. Just more little things for me. Kept the deco and the weekend banner intact. Um, a ton more little things. These were the pattern ones, which I don't know why I did so many of. Um, there were also some darker color solid ones. Like, I only kept these on here because I wasn't sure how writable they would be. So when I did extras, I just did the lighter colors. Um, and then we have the glitter headers on here as well. So that's everything from the Atlantis kit. I, I'm, like, starting to get into printables now, which is, like, whack because... I really didn't trust my ability to print out kits for myself before, but, and I still am scared to try glossy, which I usually prefer glossy kits. So once I figure it out on glossy, I feel like I'm going to be unstoppable with the printables. So that'll be good because I'll save some money and I'll get more stickers than I need and less waste. So I am really getting into this and I do credit my bestie Nessa for inspiring me because I think she has been doing printable kits for a long time now and actually she's like had me start printing them out for her because she doesn't have access to a color printer um so I have been doing that for her which also kind of inspired me knowing that I could do it um but yeah I mean premium matte is not that bad quality either um, I think Pink Planner Shop, I think that was, like, a rec that I got from her. Anyways, I don't know how many versions of this art I have. Every time I see this art, I need it. And honestly, I didn't think that I had already had this art, but I'm pretty sure I already used it in my planner. <laughs> it's been a while since I even looked at my planner, but I think I already had this and used it. Um, and then I think I have it in another color scheme that I am hoarding, but I don't know, for some reason I saw this and thought that I didn't already have it, and so now I probably just have more. <laughs> I mean, it's a printable. Like, I didn't lose too much, you know, money on it even if it is a duplicate, but either way, I don't think I have, like, a physical copy of this, um, of this color scheme, like, anywhere in my collection, so if anything, I'll just be using a slightly different version at a different time, and I won't even remember the original, but I think this is Coffee Doodles Co. Art from a while ago, but I just saw it and needed it this year for whatever reason. I don't know. I have a million and one Thanksgiving kids, too, but, um, yeah, I just, I like the color scheme. The, this orange and the blue goes together really well, I think. We have our double box scene of the kitchen. Um, we have our little tiered tray, which is a Coffee Doodles Co. Classic in her art sets. We have a little tablescape. Um, have a girl with a little turkey art project, which that's so cute. I, and I love that fashion girl's shirt right there. Just, I needed it pretty much for that. And then more table stuff, which I'm sure that's like a very famous, uh, like soup terrine or whatever that everybody has, or just like um, like baking pot or something, baking pan. Um, and then we have a little sign here that says, it is not happy people who are grateful. It is grateful people who are happy. <laughs> yes. Good quote. And then I'll just briefly leave through the rest of this. I'm not going to go into the format of every single repeat format. Um, and then on here, I did leave this intact, but I did, I don't think I printed out, um, another 15 millimeter. So I could cut this in half, which I should have done the clever thing, which I did with the mock spread, which is where I literally just like changed the cut line on this to be 15 and then brought the other one over and layered it on top. 
of here so that it would all be already cut for me already on one but I didn't think of that until I was already on that kit and that was after this one so oh wells then we have our flat lay here which is um the pies a little apple pie bacon situation which definitely is an Alicia thing and then again I just left the deco and makeup banner intact I brought the tall box over here because I wanted that one as well and the square boxes of course and here's the 15 millimeter that I did print separately so I'll be doing both of those glitter headers and then the two extra boxes here are the little um, like crossword with Thanksgiving words in there and then another like flat lay of the table which always gets me every time <laughs> more sideways little things because that's just how I wanted to put them I guess um, and then more labels um, and I think I just left that stuff there which normally I would take out the bill do but I think I wasn't as creative with this kit as the kit after it and then this page I left intact with the all the headers little things and then the patterns so that is gratitude that is everything from pink planner shop and then I really went crazy with planner pixie co because I've been like sitting on her shop for a while and she and I actually talk on Instagram every now and then about like fall shop owner stuff which is great and so then I felt comfortable asking her um if she could like make a custom listing for me of all of her previous customs that I had missed out on that I like had on my list but then she like retired them and I just like wasn't paying attention um but thankfully I like had them all remembered um so I don't even know how I remembered them but I did remember them all so there were like a few in her shop that were already there and then the rest I was like can you please put into a listing for me and I did, and so I finally printed them all out. So I'm very excited about these. These are all of our custom arts, um, and I am going to be very eagerly watching for the next ones. So first we have His Day and Her Day, which are the Mother's Day and Father's Day custom exclusives. And the Father's Day one is obvious. Oh my gosh, I just like flung my washies all over. But yeah, I don't have nearly enough Father's Day kits, I feel like, so I'm always trying to collect some. So here's these, and then there were different options, like fashion options for the guy. So I just took the one that looks the most like my boyfriend and just like kind of pasted it on top of this one. So this is not the default one, but I didn't want to print out that whole sheet, so I just like moved it over. Um, because yeah, I'll probably be using this to mark Father's Day with my boyfriend, and none of the options really looked like my dad anyway. Um, but the pool and sports on TV is definitely a very my dad thing. I guess my boyfriend enjoys sports too but yeah so that would be him which the basketball hoop makes sense because he's pretty good i'm i'm pretty good at aiming the basketball sometimes um but yeah then we have best flip and dad and like the grill apron which definitely also my boyfriend then we have a little i think that's a cake situation oh my god that's the cutest pizza ever dad you'll always be a pizza me oh my gosh that's adorable we actually had pizza tonight so also very appropriate the dad you rock card oh my god the cupcakes mug football heart shaped pizza and then this is what an awesome dad looks like on the little beer sign oh that's i love this i love the color scheme how realistic it is um i'm not sure who the art artist is but um i love it anyway so let's just go over her format and then i'm gonna like like skim through the other kits because they all have this format so we do have the solid color page of all the boxes and labels the pattern page and then we have the glitter headers and then I, yeah, I also completely destroyed a lot of these pages took out the parts I wanted which um I like also did not get smart and I just did these the slow way so these are actually two pieces instead of just like me taking um taking them and just making it one piece for myself so i'm just gonna layer them one on top of the other and then i gave myself more of the lighter colored little things to write on and then we have the bottom washi which is split in half i don't think an alternate one was provided so i will probably just pull in my uh, uh my own from somewhere else but it is i think meant to be cut that way maybe i think so and then the date covers and then the alternate fall box is the little grill outdoor scenario, which I love. I think there's only, yeah, I think there's only nine um, fall boxes for this, for these kits. Yeah, it looks like it. And then I did um, more of the little things that are lighter. I think the other, there were, 
yeah, the two other colors, the green and the blue, were a little bit too dark for my liking. So I did a ton of extras of the lighter little things, which again, that's why I love printables, so I could do that. Um, and then we have the sidebar tracker um, movie marquee, and then I left the deco and weekend banner the same. Ton of little things. I did leave these in here just for variety purposes. And then the flags I left, and the square boxes. So. Yep, that is his day. Very classic Father's Day kit. I love it. And then her day, which I will be honest, I literally only got this because the fashion girl in the front looks like Anne Hathaway, who is my favorite actress like ever. So does not look like her. I needed it because of that. I mean, the color scheme of the rest is really nice too. I don't know. I guess I don't really associate that much with Mother's Day kits because none of the stuff featured like ever really reminds me of my mom and also I'm not technically a mother yet I mean I guess I might be a stepmom one day if me and Aurora's dad get married um but right now I'm just kind of like the guardian mother figure anyways so I don't really ever associate or relate to Mother's Day kits typically but um if like if I like the color scheme and art of one enough I'll still get it so that was the case here and also that fashion girl um, but yeah, there's just like various spa stuff, cupcakes, <laughs> wine glass that says mom fuel because of course, um, bed double box scene. I love that kitty cat so much. And then the breakfast in bed tray, which is super cute. And then, um, like the holding hands and then we have the solid color. I'm just going to flip through the rounds cause you've seen it. You've seen how I like to rearrange it to suit my own purposes. This was, I think already split like that and then we have our little bath spa scene for the extra full box that and then that so yep yeah, that is her day and then the rest are all pop culture kits like disney pop culture kits which every time she does one of these i am legally obligated to pick it up because they're all just so perfect so we're gonna start with the pixar one i think this is the only Pixar one which is up and yeah I think this is kind of what got me to like really start paying attention to her shop and be like oh I need these kits um so yeah we have um it's just such beautiful art and I'm so glad that my printer actually did this justice but yeah this is like everything from up we have um Carl and Carl and Russell Carl and Ellie Doug um, that's young Ellie, and then their double box scene of their house, and then the adventure book, and then the note in it, oh, that's so sad, <sighs> I love it, and then the Carl and Ellie mailbox for the other full box, and then the bottom washi already split, the, um, solid color, pattern color, I just gave myself a ton of little things, and then on this page I did the tall box of what is the bird's name? Kevin. Kevin. And then the flags and everything else you can see on that page. And then this one. I'm surprised I didn't tear this one up as much as I usually do. I think this was the first kit I printed out before I realized how much I like to tear them apart. Um, and then, yeah, we have the cyber trackers. We can, or not, we can um, have a trackers, everything else. Glitter headers and then a ton more little things. So that is Adventure Awaits is what that one is called. And then next, of course, Sugar Rush. This is the Wreck-It Ralph inspired kit, which I don't think there's been one. Definitely not one as good as this. So obviously I needed this. I do like Wreck-It Ralph. I th think I like the first one better. Um, although the second book, the second movie, it does explore some cool things. So um, we have the two characters um ralph and penelope and then fix it felix and then i think king candy is his name and then oh i love that double box scene of like the whole of sugar rush that is super cool and then with the coke and the mentos which i love that because i love the mint mentos i eat them every single day after every single meal <laughs> and then the you're my hero i think that's a cookie and then just more candy in there which oh my gosh i love it i love how like realistic these guys are too and the shading so great I'll just flip through everything um, yeah, bottom washi, and then the other box with the coins and the candy, and then fifth color sampler, and more little things, like I love this page, and then, um, these two gals, which are also characters, 
I love this like new format. I think this is our very newest format, which is why like I was able to leave so much in place and I know I'm going to use all of it. Um, so we have more glitter headers, little things. I think it's like a fifth color. Nope, I think it's just more of the blues. Um, washi. And then we get a big box, which I'm excited about. Cause, uh, please do more of these, Randy. Please, please, please. Of the car. Just love that. And then more washy little things, square boxes. Oh, yeah, so I did rip apart this page, too, a little bit. You know what? I think it was probably an accident for me to print off. What was the other? No, I think it was from the other kit that I did that page. Anyway, so I just took this one because I just needed that one. And then just did more little things. I usually need about, like, 40 little things per kit, so I really had to give myself a ton. Um, so I think that was her newest format, so hopefully all the ones going forward will be in that format. Next we have the Ohana kit, which is from, what's it called? Lilo and Stitch, which also, I don't think I've seen any Lilo and Stitch kits out there. At least, no, there was. There was one. I think Kanish just did a Lilo and Stitch art set that I do have. Um, but I love this one as well. Um, so yeah, this color scheme as well just really gets me. So that's their house in the double box scene, which is just amazing. Then we have two fashion girls. I think that's supposed to be like Lilo. And that is, what is her name? Nani, I think. Um, her big sister. And then we have just other Lilo and Stitch things. I don't remember too much about Lilo and Stitch. I've seen like maybe like a few episodes of the show. Maybe one of the movies. So I don't remember too much. I do remember that Stitch likes Elvis. <laughs> Hilariously. But yeah, it's super cool. So let's just leaf through the rest of this. Yeah, I did the same kind of thing. Oh, that would be so great for a quote right there with the ocean scenery. And I did myself three movie marquees, which I think this was the one time I remembered to do that because usually I do need a ton of movie marquees. Well, usually when I have time to watch a million movies per week. And then next is Snow, which is the Snow White themed art, which I just loved this a lot. Just the Snow White color scheme is always amazing with the blue, red, and yellow. I mean, primary colors will always work. So we have Snow herself, then we have teapot and teacup, and then like, the poisoned apple, which I think is like, there's a little candle in there, which is so funny. Oh, that's so pretty with the double box scene of the cottage and like the light shining through the trees. Her double box scenes are just amazing. The apples, um, we have a little storybook, nail polish, <laughs> an apple-shaped purse, which is so funny. Um, a little deer and apple pie baking, which always love that in a kit. I want to say that would be, it would be cool to use my apple pie foil set with this art as well. And you can see how I rearranged it. And then we get a nice kitchen scene for that extra full box. And then, yeah, I just added stuff in. There you go. And then lastly, we have Cindy, which is the Cinderella one, which I think was like maybe one of the first ones that she did I think so a classic this is very cinderella y, very pink and blue so pretty, very pastel I love it, there's cinderella um, there's one of her little bird friends and there she is mopping got the laundry, double box scene of the kitchen one of her little mice friends helping her out more cleaning supplies oh I love these colors so much and here's all of this glitter headers, get the interior of the living room for the extra box, get myself a ton of little things, and then same as that. So that is it from Planner Pixie Co. Again, there will probably be more to come. I love those customs so much, and thank you again, Randy, for providing them to me in a custom listing because I forgot to get them on time. But yeah, so I think that is going to be it for this segment. I think I'm just going to wait, wait for like that one order or two orders that I have still coming in just to finish out this haul and make it an even bigger one, I guess. So I'll we'll go ahead and get into that next segment. Okay, so let's just go ahead and finish out this haul with a few more bits and bobs. I have a kind of bigger order from Paper, Paper Geek Co., which is washi tapes, and then I have the SPC Mystery, which, oops, spoilers, I forgot to turn it around, and then I have a couple of printable kits as well. So first, let's go over the washi tape order, which I think these are going to be pretty much mostly for packaging purposes, because I always like to put these on my outgoing orders. 
I don't really use washi tapes in my planner anymore. I think I only use them like once or twice and now I have like a million that I'm essentially kind of just hoarding for decorative purposes, I suppose, as in decorating my office with drawers full of pretty tapes. But I really only use like the ones with actual like designs on them as opposed to just bows um, for packaging. So I kind of have the list here of what I purchased, so we can kind of try to match it up, but honestly, I feel like that would take forever. So if you want to kind of try to match it up based on what is on here in order to purchase it, you can, but I really am not going to be too much of a help for you there. Um, I also did not really sort these. So looks like we have some fall stuff in here, Halloween some generic landscapes um one of these is a freebie roll so i'll probably be able to pick that one out hmm let's see i really do like the landscape ones kind of the best i think this one is the freebie roll it looks like just stars just foiled stars it looks like a little fairy maybe in there so that is probably the september freebie roll yeah i must be because it has that same girl. So there's that. And then let's see. It looks like I have a couple of like floral sort of tapes. So we have one that is, I think, just flowers, which I don't usually get tapes that are just flowers and not foiled, but sometimes I do just because I really like florals. So this one, I'm assuming, is the. Um, Valentine floral, I believe, because it has little hearts in it. So yeah, I do love floral washi tapes like that, even if they're not foiled. I did grab the, I think I did, I'm pretty sure I grabbed the green flowers here, which, is it green or is it the blue foil? Yeah, this is the blue foiled one, so tranquil countryside blue floral blue foil washi tapes um and the floral design i do really like this floral design it looks like it's so weirdly green i don't even know i think it's supposed to be like it was a february release which is like very spring so i think i meant this to be like a spring tape so i'll probably put that on orders in the springtime and then um we have just i think these are like the stargazing kind of theme here um, this one is the stargazing washi tapes, hollow foil, and the cobalt blue background. So there were a few other, like, background colors you could get. Um, I just really liked the blue one the best. So it's just, like, a series of windows with stars and constellations outside of them. And there's, like, various stuff in the window sills, like this little kitty cat. So cute. There's another cat. I don't know. I just really like this one. I don't know when necessarily I'm going to use it. I'll probably just put it on random orders, but I just thought it was such a pretty tape. Had to have it. So I got a couple of star ones there. And then this one is one of the many landscape tapes I purchased. I always love these types and she does so many of these, so many color combinations. She puts various different things in the skies. Um, so I do like to pick up pretty much as many as I can get my hands on because they sell out like super fast. So I do have quite the collection now actually because I definitely try to be on top of it whenever she does new releases. Um, so this one I think is the Sapphire Skies perhaps. I know I said I wasn't going to try to match them up and clearly here I am trying to match every single one up. Um, but if I had to guess, I don't know, is this Sapphire? Would you consider this to be Sapphire? Maybe. Yeah, okay, well, um, let's put that aside for now because I'm pretty sure that this one is the Tranquil Countryside um, Blue Foil Mountainscape because it does have blue foil, which is, like, kind of weird, I feel like, but it kind of looks cool. So it's just a mountainscape with some, like, shooting stars and asteroids and all that and blue foil. And then this one is definitely the Halloween blackout washi tape, which I don't know what blackout means. I mean, it has a black background, but anyway. Um, and then the mountainscape 
is like gold foiled and i think the mountains are kind of pink which is really cool but i don't know i liked this one because it had the witch on it because clearly it's like a halloween tape and there's a bat so i'm definitely going to be pull this, pulling this in around halloween time when i do orders which right now is october so i might pull in these now um so i thought that was really fun and then so we have these two left and now i have to kind of decide which ones they are um one of these is a sapphire, so I'm going to assume that this one is, in fact, the sapphire, which, like, there's so much going on in the skies right now. There's, like, moon phases, stars, and it is in silver foil, and, um, let's see. Yeah, it's just very blue, and I really like the sky in the background. It's, like, a blue watercolor, so gorgeous, and then there's this one, which is more, like, a moon phases, um, if I had to pick which one this would be, I don't know, it might be part of the Autumn Shimmer main set of four, maybe, which I don't know what set that was, who knows. I think it does kind of match a couple other tapes in there, so who knows, maybe this was one of those. Um, it's not super descriptive there, but yeah, just another landscape, because again, I just kind of pick them up when I see them just to have variety and then the rest I kind of put all the fall ones here this one is actually a Halloween one so I'm gonna pull that out first an additional Halloween one which just says trick-or-treat it is orange with green foil um and it is this trick-or-treat script green foil one right there so yeah this is just a classic Halloween one just to have more variety for those I also use these on happy mail by the way which I haven't sent out happy mail in a long time but um theoretically that that is the plan for a lot of those and then I have a couple like landscape ones for the fall ones um i think some of these um one of these is the farm life landscape so that one is definitely this one which is the farm landscape with like the gold fence and the gold birds in there so you have the house and the windmill i think those are like cows or something so yeah i do like landscapes of any kind so farm life included and then here are the other three that are part of the autumn shimmer set and i think that was the fourth one um but yeah this one is like the fall leaves one which i love these types of patterns very similar to the flower ones which i do have um duplicates of these in different colors i just like the you know simple outline of something with like a foiled outline um it's super cool it just looks so gorgeous and i think this is in either like light gold or rose gold foil. I think it's rose gold. If I had to pick, I would say probably like rose gold, very coppery rose gold. Um, but yeah, I just love the dark colors of the leaves in here. So there's that one. And then there is this kind of like tree landscape, which is just like a forest. I needed this so bad. We have our moon faces in there. And that's the only foiled part. The trees are not foiled. And then we have the um, basically just like houses. So we've got like houses during the fall and there's fall leaves that are foiled in there. That's so pretty. So had to grab that. And that is what I ordered from Paper Geek Co. She's actually having a release in a few days from now as of filming. So I don't know whether I should get more or not because I just have so many and I'm not going through them that fast, but I don't know. I should or shouldn't, who knows. All right, next let's go over the SBC mystery, which is the October mystery, which is kind of a like wintry, um, the Snow Queen inspired collection, which I do love. It's kind of subtle. Who's the artist for this one? Darcy? I think it's Darcy because I know that Pink Diamond Planner Co. always uses Darcy and it definitely looks like that kind of kit. So love that i love the colors i will never get tired of these like pinks and blues and purples in a kit any type of kit it's just like an instant win for me well depending on the season um like if a christmas kit was in these colors i don't know about that but winter for sure so i love this little kind of a frame like attic style bedroom here in the double box scene then we have our snowman which does not have a nose and i cannot tell you how much that bothers me like i understand having an orange carrot nose would like clash with the rest of the kit because there's no orange anywhere else but like come on at least do something for the nose it just looks incomplete <laughs> looks like she ever got the nose i don't even know it's so funny but then we have our like actual um public domain book of the snow queen i'm pretty sure 
then the cover over there and we have our snow globe some jewelry and this flat lay over here and then our fashion girls which gorgeous hair and then this girl's outfit is so fun she's got little wings for some reason so there's that this will probably be just a generic winter kit for me which i clearly do not have enough of not clearly you guys haven't seen my collection in a while but believe me i don't have enough we have our deco there's a nice mix of big and small deco i don't even know what people like use these giant fashion deco for I mean, I guess if you do white space planning or like more of a journaling style, that would make sense. But I feel like these kits aren't really meant for that. Um, and then we have another fashion girl, the really cool kind of plaid, like smock dress almost. I don't even know what that is. Um, and then a doggy. Looks kind of like a husky, maybe perhaps. It's just feeling this. This looks like these sheets were a little bit overcut, but as long as they peel, I don't care which they do. So that's fine. And then we have our uh, labels which I don't really like these round labels anymore I'm like a square label person now which like thankfully there's plenty of those but like I, I feel bad because I feel like I'm gonna completely be ignoring this page except for the square boxes which I do love to incorporate whenever I have a script that like fits perfectly within the square box like whenever I have the opportunity to make a script that fits perfectly in a square box I take the opportunity and that's just like it gives me so much joy to like pull those into spreads because then that allows so much more of the bougie to shine behind um, behind the label. So definitely love that there's more square boxes at least because I will be probably hoarding the ones I don't use. Then we have the whole page of just, um, little things, which I haven't counted these in a while. I haven't, I don't think I've used a kit in this newest, newest format, um, to see like if this is enough, but I usually use about like 43 little things per spread or like, it's kind of like the most that I've been using. So let's see, we have 12 there and we have 16 there. So that is, 28 and then we have another 16 there well let's just do 32 plus 12 is 44 okay i'll allow it that's definitely enough plus we have some more here so thank god for that entire page of just little things because i need it for sure and except when she does some that are just like black because i typically just ignore those but i have enough like leftovers at this point to where it won't really matter and then we have our page of solid color just labels and everything plenty of third boxes and i think these are like quote-unquote quarter boxes i think they're like a little bit taller than the standard quarter box but they're like somewhere between a quarter box and a third box which is super cool again i haven't used this format so i don't know how useful those will be but honestly i think it just depends on the size of the script and the icon that i'm using like what size box i will use um, which is great because I don't really plan that out 100% until I get to like the actual day by day. I usually plan out the whole spread before I even start filming, but, um, I don't plan like exactly what labels I'm going to use. Anyway, we have that entire page, but in the patterns and then we have our split bottom washi with this really cool ombre effect, um, date covers. And then we have another flat lay, which is just like a wintry outfit and a little winter bonnet with the earmuffs there, which is super cute. That reminds me I should get earmuffs before this winter because apparently it gets really cold here and I'm like scared. Like it's been hot so much so far that I feel like winter's going to hit and I'm going to be so unprepared because I'm going to be like, it's not going to get that hot or it's not going to get that cold and then it's going to like kill me. So we'll see. Any excuse to buy earmuffs so I can pick up some cute ones. Um, and then we have our fifth color, which thankfully is a useful color, like a writable color is what I call it. Um, like not black basically um, and then we have our icons which I do like that that's included just for my convenience I only ever use like a few of them because all of this stuff is stuff I don't really mark like candles and nail polish and cupcakes like, I don't mark that stuff but some of them I do and it's just nice to have them and then we have our whole ooh, we have a whole extra page of full boxes which like yes please we have a whole nother double box scene which I love that it's the exterior of the house because exterior or interior we get the whole picture it's complete I love this pink and blue forest behind there like if I was gonna live in the forest I would prefer the trees to look like that given the choice we have an alternate skin tone hair color for the fashion girl on the second page and then an alternate um hair color for that one but I do love the white hair so I always stick with that when I can and then we have hand holding a mirror and then um that girl becomes a tall box which I will use because if there's a tall box I'm going to use it and pink hair versus blue hair they both match the kit equally her outfit's different too but like that's fine I'm gonna use the tall box um and then this one which she made perfectly for a quote box overlay which yes please I do love me some quote overlays 
So I'm like obsessed with this kind of, I feel like the more I looked at it, the more I liked it, which is awesome for a kit. Um, she did include this foil with it, which I don't really use her format. Um, I used to, this used to be the only ones that I save, but like, I just don't, I use my own foil, um, or at least that's my plan. I don't know, I might save this and just get rid of this sheet because I don't use the icons or scripts. The rest of it is usable, I don't know. It is in just like a classic hollow or sparkly hollow, but her sparkly hollow does not match my sparkly hollow, so I will think about it. I'll, I'll hold on to it for now, but yeah, we have two pages of the full box overlays, which just look like this, and then the double box scene is like that, and then you can just turn this one over for the other one, which like is so weird to me that she does that. Like, just put them next to each other. Like, why, why make us think about it? <laughs> And then headers, headers, um, she actually did, um, like, patterned bougie boxes, which she doesn't usually do, but she does them now occasionally. I think she's starting to do them more. Um, she was a bit late to the game on that, honestly. Um, but I do like them, so I'll keep them. My plan is to do a snowflake collection later this year, so we'll see. And then we have the icons and scripts, and then the bottom washi, which is our standard snowflakes, tiny deco, alternate header options, and then the um, date dots, which are now in Times New Roman, which I, I like the sans serif ones better. Mine are still sans serif. Look how, like, whatever cutting machine was used in the factory, it, like... It had way too much fun with this. Like, look how deep it cut. Like, you shouldn't really be able to see that. That's how you know the blade is, like, about to need changing. I don't know. It's weird, because I know she gets these manufactured, but, like, both the cut lines for the foil and for the kit are, like, too deep, which is hilarious. I don't know. These are just things that I notice now as a shop owner, so you get you get my fun commentary about that now. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so next, let's get into the printable kits, which... I really only purchase from these shops now, um, Pink Planner Shop and Planner Pixie Co. Um, in terms of printables, I know Apple Boston Prints does printables, which like is dumb that I keep buying the physical copies. Like I just placed a huge order for so many of her kits, and she literally like offers the printables. I'm like, why do I want to do that? So I need to do that going forward. I don't know. I don't know. Cause I can print my own. I'm still too scared to figure out glossy. So these are still in premium matte, but. Hopefully that'll change the next time I purchase a printable. Anyway, I was looking at Pink Planner Shop, I think, for mock spread kits, because I like to have those printable where where I can. But um, I was just, like, glancing through it, and I saw that she used this art, which I think is, like, Villa Art something. I don't know. Studio maybe is in there somewhere. I don't know. You know who I'm talking about. Um, but she did, like, a little Coraline set, and I think this was the only place that I actually saw it, and so I, like, needed it because I love Coraline. It's, like, my favorite thing of all time, um, which it, it is on my movie bucket list for this year, for this Halloween season. I can't watch it with my little girl, though, because it would scare the pants off her, which would be the funniest thing in the world to me, but it would actually give her nightmares, and I'm not that mean. Oh, man. I might watch it with my boyfriend, though. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, anyways, I needed this. I already used the Coraline kit from SPC, and I have one from... What is the other one that starts with a P? That other shop. Um, oh man, there's no way I'm going to remember it now, but I have one from another shop. Um, so um, I think this is the only other one I will have in my collection now, but yeah, either way I needed it. The more Coraline kits, the better. And I do have a Coraline collection in my shop, which is due for reformat. It was the first one I ever came out with. And so the format is like very different from what you see now. So it is due for reformat. So we'll, we'll think about that. Um, but yeah, I needed this. So let's go over it. We have our double box scene, which is the outside of the pink palace, which like I do love clip art of houses, like, I don't know, buildings. It's just my favorite thing in the world. So I love this so much. I'm obsessed with that. Um, and then we have a little sign with the Pink Palace Apartments and the cat, which I don't think is ever named. And then we have Coraline in real life. Um, and then Coraline the doll, or her little doll that she gets. And then the button eyes, which, to be honest, is probably the creepiest part of the movie. And then we have the other mother in her, like, kind of evil form, but not her most evil form. Um, and then I think that's a sewing machine, which is interesting. Is there a sewing machine actually pictured in the movie, or am I just crazy? Because I thought it was just, like, the singular needle. I don't know. And then we have YB here, which I haven't read the book, but, I, like, I think that YB was an invention just for the movie. I don't know. 
I'm like a hashtag fake fan because I haven't read the book, but like, who reads the books for these things? I bet a lot of you didn't even know that Coraline was based on a book. Um, but it is. It's by Neil Gaiman, who is like a really good, like, I think he's like a horror author. Kind of. Not really. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Um, and then we have our full page of the solid and then the patterned, which again, I love that every shop is like doing this now, basically. And then I did kind of tear up and destroy the rest of the printable files to print only what I needed. So this is not um, really indicative of like what you will get um, when you buy this, because when you buy printable kits, you get like literally everything you could possibly need. Um, so I only just take what I know I'm going to use. So I did grab um, the 15 millimeter strip, which was um, like a separate piece, and then the glitter headers. So this is the bottom washer that you actually get. So I am just going to cut that in half. I used to be, yeah, you can tell my printer was like running out of ink because of the lines in there, but again, I'm going to cut it in half. So like I'll survive. Um, I used to be smart and like have the cutting machine just like cut this at 15 millimeters, but I like forgot for this one. So I'll have to do it manually. Um, then we have our date covers and then we have our extra full box with the snow globe of the Detroit Zoo. I love that snow globe element in there because it is an important part of the movie. And then I just destroyed the sheet and like turned it into a sheet of just little things because I knew I needed them, um, except for the meals header, which I did leave. I think this was just all headers before. And I did leave some um, pattern to wash. I was trying to see because I think this is the one that I cut bigger so that I could put the meals header over that because I do like to do that in the sidebar. So I just, I love printable files because I can like literally manipulate them so that I have this like larger strip because it only came with the ones that were like cut to the size of headers. And so I like just dragged this line to make it cut a bigger box. And I'm like, yes, love that I could do that. It takes a while, but like, I love being able to do that. And then we have our two extra full boxes, which are um, like from the garden. I think those are like plants from the garden or whatever. And then the welcome home cake and then the little chicken oven mat. So fun. And so, yeah, I just kept one of the like sidebar trackers two of the um habit trackers because there were four and then I just put two extra little things there um gave myself some more little things left those labels and then more little things more little things there too because like I said I use about 43 per spread so I just tried to cram them in wherever I could left the square boxes left the deco and weekend banner um and then pink planner shop also has big boxes these are quite a bit taller than the standard so they're taller than the ones that um i have overlays for so i may when i reformat the buttons collection which i will do before using this kit i will probably use that template and then just create a like custom overlay that will fit over this just for just for me um let me know if you guys use pink planner shop and you use these big boxes i don't know if she does them with every kit i don't think she does them with every kit but let me know if you want a big box overlay just for this type of box because like right now i don't think there's a demand for it but i can easily add that in because i already have two other sizes of big box overlay so it will not be an issue um but i yeah i'll at least do a custom for myself because i need this entire setup right here um the question is i'm probably gonna have to like get rid of the double box scene though if I'm going to use this. I think it's like slightly different art though. The door is a different color. And you know what? It might just be because my printer was running out of ink. I think I might just reprint this whole kit, honestly. Yeah, honestly, it looks like the trees are supposed to be that color. Anyways, just ignore that. But I will probably use that instead of the double box scene. And then we have our fifth color and then fifth color headers as well, which always like confuses me because like I know how to work with when there's only three colors of header and I know how to work with when there's four colors, but when there's five colors, like what do I do? Um, is there seven of these? Clearly my printer didn't even print these right, so. Or not the printer, the cutter didn't even cut these right. But I think there's four, five, six, there are seven, so I could just, I don't know, that gives me anxiety. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Anyways, that is the, the other world kit from Pink Planner Shop. Um, and then next is Pixar, not Pixar, Planner Pixie Co. Sorry about that, Randy. Slip of the tongue. 
Um, and Randy also updated her format. First of all, this is her newest, not newest, this was her second newest exclusive art kit, because her newest is a Christmas kit, but this was her Halloween exclusive art kit, which I do pick up, like, all of her exclusive arts, because they are all amazing. Um, but, and I already did use this in the mock spread for the candy foil collection that I did, but I just needed to print one for, like, personal use, because I needed it. It's amazing. Um, and so, given that this is such a new kit, she has, like, slightly reformatted it, I believe. Um, and so it does come with, like, extra sheets that I will go over when we get to them. Um, but yeah, just look at the bold colors. This was, like, the first one I printed with my brand new printer, and it, yeah, definitely did this one justice. So, love this. We have our, this is just, like, a Halloween candy and pastel a little bit, but mostly black collection, which, classic. Um... So we have our double box scene with the beware sign, couch, and everything. I love this kitty cat dressed as a vampire. This is my favorite thing of all time. Um, I love this little Wednesday Addams girl, which the fashion girls in this kit I think are only like Wednesday Addams themed, which is fine because that's my Halloween costume. That's like what I wear. So that's me. Um, so I did grab the one that had the skin tone hair color that matched me. Um, that was not the default one here. I just kind of, she gave you like a whole page of like every single possible combination and just like let you pick. So I just dragged that one over here onto this page. Um, I left that one the same way though. Cause like, I don't care. Um, but we have, yeah, that other like fashion legs, which is funny. It's not a whole fashion girl. It's just the fashion legs. And then we have like a candy flatly here, which is like, kind of why I use this for the candy collection but like yes and then the little rice crispy treats on a stick is what I think those are I love those I think those are cookies they have a Ouija board and then we have like more decor over here which reminds me I need to freaking put up my Halloween decor it's October 8th I think as I'm filming this and I have not put up any fall or Halloween decor well I put up a little bit but like I'm behind on that anyway and then we have the whole sheet of um the solid labels and then the pattern labels which again seem as always and then I did just tear up the rest of the collection as you will see I grabbed the tall box girl with the skin tone hair color that matches me um just threw in more little things I only kept two of the flags there were more flags but I only need two and then square boxes I left um glitter headers I left and then we got our habit trackers um, I think this was the one patterned washi that I kept, and I did, like, extend the size of it, but I don't even think it's long enough. Also, I don't think she has header, or, like, headers that have, um, words on them, so I'll have to grab a meal's header from somewhere else, or a dinner's header, rather, but that was what I intended to use. Behind that, in the sidebar, more little things, as you can see, I just really stuck them in wherever, and then the sidebar tracker. Um, two extra full boxes, which... I love yes please give them to me we have some cake we have a clothing flat lay with like the beetlejuice pinstripe pants which is awesome more little things as you can tell i'm gonna have a ton of these um pink ones i think the kit actually like came with darker color ones like black ones or something that were not writable so i just kind of took those out and just replaced them and then i kept one movie marquee just because i felt like i should have duplicated them sometimes i do but I just kept one. And then I just left the whole deco and weekend banner the same. I love how everybody puts the weekend banner in with the deco. Like, everybody does that. It's so funny to me. And then we have the bottom washi, which is already split like this. We have that. I'm just, like, testing out my... To see if my machine actually cut it right. It's okay. It's reasonable. There's a reason I don't sell you guys, like, a ton of premium matte stuff. is because it's harder to work with. Um, and then we have another full box here which is a tiered tray, of course, classic, and then the date covers, and then she included a whole bunch of, like, extra little sheets, which she did have, like, two of the, um, little things, sheets that are, like, this size, like, the teeny tiny size, um, which I don't even think she had little things before, I forget, um, they, like, are sold on this, like, little extra sheet now, which I got rid of the darker ones and just duplicated the pink ones, so we have, that that I printed out and then the big box also came on a little sheet like this with a little header but for some reason I just like didn't do that um because my plan was to like adjust the cut lines on this to make it so that my big box overlays fit over this like perfectly because um you can use my taller size of big box overlay and I think it's like maybe a millimeter too tall or something um but it still like works 
Um, but I just like was like, I'm printing it so I can adjust the cut lines to whatever I want. So yeah, this will, this will fit, um, for me. Um, and so yeah, big box overlay with a little fireplace and mantle scene with like a ton of balloons in there, which is hilarious, but yeah. So, um, another shop that does big box overlays, which is awesome. I love that more shops are doing that. Cause I don't know. I just love that type of, um, opportunity to have like the most clipper possible. So that is from Planner Pixie Co. I might pick up her new Christmas exclusive art. I might. I'm still undecided on that. But yeah, so that is pretty pretty much going to be it for this haul. It's a big one. The next one's also going to be really big. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I do have some stuff on the way. That's for sure. A lot of kits coming up. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be wonderful. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.